Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about Italy guys, a country that, let's be honest, is lacking a top dog aircraft. Of course we have the ADF, which is an amazing aircraft, don't get me wrong, but um, it is a bit problematic in some senses, right? It doesn't have AIM-9Ms and... I mean, it's a 12.0 aircraft still, so it's not really a top dog since the BRs have been increased to 12.7 and to be honest, it would be just unfair to just add it to 12.7 without any upgrade. So, uh, what are the aircraft that we can see in Italy being added, um, like right now, that would basically do this jump? Because, of course, we have the Tornado ADV. But that's not enough, that's really, really not enough. And the AV-8B+, Plus, I mean, it's an interesting aircraft, I love to fly that thing, it does have the M9Ms, but it's just a Harrier, it's not really a top dog, right? Uh, so yeah, even though you can do a lot of good things on that aircraft, it's not on par with the latest models of 29s, SU-27s, F-16s, F-15s, etc, right? So, or even Gripens. So, um... Yeah, I think there are some room for improvement. Uh, I think the first option here, guys, would actually to just upgrade the F-16A that we have in Italy already. Uh, of course, this is an ADF version of the F-16A, meaning that it is able to carry the AIM-20 MRAM missile. So once those missiles are added, we can see two, of two things happening, right? The first one would be... Um, the F-16 that we have being upgraded to carry those missiles uh, and receive a BR increase, right? And the second one would be to have a secondary ADF with the same performance, the same aircraft, but with the upgrade on AIM-120s and even the AIM-9M, right? Uh, that would be the two options that I think would be more, more reliable. Of course, I'm always against um, unnecessary, you know, um, grind. So having another aircraft would be kind of too much, in my opinion. But at the same time, I think it's all right to see to see it just to divide a little bit the BR, you know, uh, because it's a very big BR increase. I mean, it would be at least 12.7. Uh, with an F-16 like this. So that would be the first option, of course. I think it would be... It, it, it's the thing that makes more most sense, to be honest. And... Yeah, I don't understand why they didn't do something like this yet. I mean, they can even just add another F-16A or... Improve this one with just adding the M9M. Even if it has to increase the BR of it. So... Yeah, it's something that I think would be like the most logical thing to do uh, but the second thing would actually to add the Hungarian aircraft the Hungarian aircraft that I already even did um, uh, like a tech tree, a future tech tree of what the Italian tech tree would look like, right? and we have two aircraft that could be on par with the latest aircraft that we have uh, right now or to be at least a 12.3 maybe a 12.7 aircraft. The first one would be the MiG-29. Of course, the Hungarians actually used MiG-29s. Uh, I don't think they use anymore, but um, it was a very, very heavily used aircraft for a long time. And, I mean, it is the 912A that they used, so the same version as the Germans. But, of course, they can always, since it's going to be the main fighter and the top dog of Italy, they could always added with R-73s and that would be the difference between the 912 in the German Tech 3 and the Italian Tech 3, right? You would have uh, a MiG-29 912A with R-27ERs and R-73s, you know, uh, something similar to what the 912A and 12, uh, 913 is but with the addition of the R-73 and then the BR could be something in between 12.3 or 12.7 depending on performance of the aircraft maybe at first 12.7 and if it's suffering against other aircraft they can always add it um, 
to a lower BR, you know, but uh, it would be very, very, very similar to the G variant. I mean, the G variant on the uh, German Tech Tree, it is pretty much that, isn't it? It's a 912A. It's the same aircraft. It changes the, the like, instead of the, the Rita, it's using the Betty um, for the voice, uh, like, system. Uh, for the, like, technically the HUD and everything like that, it's, like, on Imperial uh, stuff, no feet, etc. And not a metric. Uh, but still everything else it's the same it's the same aircraft so uh, and that aircraft is 12.7 so yeah there's no reason why a 912a from hungary to the uh, italian tech 3 uh, wouldn't be a 12.7 so that would be the second option and the final option because of course we can have the autofighter that's for sure but the autofighter is not coming yet um, but yeah the italians did use the autofighter but um, the other option would be another Hungarian aircraft, as I was saying, the Gripen. Of course, guys, the Gripen uh, C, if I'm not mistaken, is used by the hung Hungarians. And of course, even though it wouldn't be realistic, but uh, since we don't have the Fox trees yet, uh, it would start its life on the Italian Tech 3 with the Sky Flash as well and the A9M being a 12.7 aircraft with the incredible performance that the Gripen has, of course. Uh, later, of course, when Fox 3 missiles are added, the AIM-20s, etc., uh, they add the AIM-20s for the Gripen, and then Italy is on par with everything that it's on the most modern tech trees in the game. Um, and it would be, of course, bridging the gap for the future once the Italians actually receive the Aero Fighter. And that would be, I think, uh, one of the main things, right? I mean, we need to have something between now and then. And, like, it's... Or now and the future, right? Because at the end of the day, um, as I said... The aircraft that we have in the Italian Tech 3 are really, really lacking behind on the sense of performance compared to other aircraft, right? So, uh, in other Tech 3s, right? So, uh, there's always, like, from little to way more to do in this Tech 3. As I said, the F-16A would be the mo the easiest option. It's just a missile addition at first with the A9M and later the AIM-20 that is already going to be in other aircraft. And then, of course, later we can also have a very easy option of just adding, like, technically copy-pasted aircraft from other tech trees, right? The MiG-29, 912A, it's literally the same as the German one. And the Gripen would be the literal, like, the same as the C variant in the UK tech tree. So, it's very easy to actually add these aircraft. I don't, I really don't understand why they didn't do that. Maybe they are preparing a whole Hungarian tech tree and then add these aircraft uh, at once, you know, but I don't know, I just feel that we need that. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what are other options. Remember, we only have Hungary as confirmed as tech trees coming for now. Uh, maybe we can have some others in the future, but for now, it, this is it. So let me know in the comments what do you think. And I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Always remember, remember I have a secondary channel for GTA. And yeah, this is it. I see you guys on the next one. Bye.